Hello there, Loader Squadron, and welcome back to the channel. Is Judgment Day here? Has the day that we have been waiting for for years finally come? Is LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga finally finished? Is it finally on track to actually hit its intended release window this time? We are going to talk about everything that we know right now in this video, but before we do that, we have a brief message. That's right, Nick. We here at Lunar Squadron are celebrating something huge. We have finally hit 2,000 subscribers. Thanks to all of you who have joined in the Lunar Squadron. We appreciate every single one of you, and to show our appreciation, we will be doing a very special Q&A video where you will have an opportunity to win a brand new Lego set. That's right, guys, a brand new Lego set signed by yours truly, Nick and Andreas. Now, how do you enter to win, Nick? Well, it's pretty easy, actually. There's three things you have to do. One, you have to like this video. Number two, leave a Q&A question down below in the comments. And three, subscribe to the channel. Do those three things, you are entered into the giveaway for the brand new LEGO set, but you're gonna wanna hurry because we are going to be sitting down and creating the Q&A video this weekend. So time is running out, so make sure you get involved in that giveaway. And I think we expect to have this video out sometime early next week or sometime later this weekend. So time is running out, so get involved now. Be quick about it. Speaking of subscribers, here is our very important subscription generating lizard, Bosk, with a very important message for you all. Stay your savage tongue. Speak not of my father. Thanks, Bosk. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video. Alright guys, I want to set the scene here for a second before we kind of delve into what has transpired uh, as of yesterday. Now, we've seen kind of something unprecedented as of late. TT Games has begun a flurry of marketing on Twitter now, haven't they? First off, it was the Chewbacca Life Day tweet, then it was the Crunchwrap Supreme tweet, and then it was the Tauntaun tweet. Following that, everybody was kind of thinking, you know, are we finally going to expect some more substantive updates from TT Games? Is this game actually finally finishing to where we will be seeing it in the spring, or is it just going to be another letdown like, you know, the 12 other letdowns we've had with this game? Now, something today kind of broke that is starting to get people hopeful, right, Nick? Yeah, so it's important to mention since you brought up the tweets that the first two tweets were ones kind of ordinary things. They happened on holidays, Life Day, and then Thanksgiving. It is really the third tweet that kind of has people generating hype for potentially something happening at the Game Awards or something happening soon because it was completely unprovoked for no reason. They are just tweeting now all of a sudden here once or twice a week. So things are starting to ramp up. Now, in regards to what has just happened, there are actually a few things that were noticed on Twitter by some of the members of the community, namely our friends Xavier and Rex. Shout out to you guys for noticing this and always keeping us in the loop with these kinds of things. Now, the first thing that we want to talk about is this tweet that came from lead game designer at TT Games who has worked on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. His name is Tim Spencer, and earlier today, he tweeted out, Today at work, I saw something so awesome, it made me happy tear up. Of course, I can't tell you what I saw, but all of it, it's all true. Now, what does this mean exactly, Andreas? What are we thinking here? Is this LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga? Is the game finally done? Are they looking at a finished, polished project? Are they ready to show this game off to the world finally? Or does this have something to do, you think, with another project? I mean... This is pretty clearly about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Tim Spencer has done everything short of spelling it out for us. I mean, this is a guy who is a lead designer for TT Games, who specifically has been working on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Not only that, but this tweet drops a Star Wars reference in the tweet. Guys, all of it, it's all true. Come on, that is clearly 
a reference to Han Solo talking to Rey and Finn in the Millennium Falcon when he's saying it's all true, the Force Jedi, all of it. I'll even roll it here for you guys. The Force, the Jedi. All of it. It's all true. Yeah, that's kind of what makes me think that this is in fact about Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is the fact that there was an episode 7 reference. That's really what stood out to me about this tweet was that part of it. It clearly seems to me that they're talking about Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga here and not some other project. So, I don't know, man. It, it's starting to sound like this game is finished because there's another thing that happened today on Twitter. Yeah, there is. Uh, we had another lead designer of TT Games change his bio. This is another guy who we knew was working on Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Twitter bio changed as of today to uh, something something designer at TT Games working on to be announced project. Um, you know, I also noticed something interesting about uh, throwing back to Tim Spencer. Um, that his LinkedIn also stated that uh, as of, uh, well, it says 2019 to present, uh, that he is working on more TBA stuff. This kind of feeds into what we had already known about TT Games, that a lot of developers, not just who were pre-existing and working on the Skywalker Saga, but also a lot of people who were brought into the company, are working on an unannounced title. I think it kind of goes without doubt at this point, that TT Games is either wrapping up LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, has wrapped up The Skywalker Saga, and is working on a new project. Is that fair to say? I think what really makes me believe here that this game is finishing up or is finished is the fact that it is the level of developers that are now moving on to other projects. We were having, like, level designers or hub designers or some of the you know lower end developers who are moving on from TT Games to other projects or other studios but now we have lead game designers moving on to other projects these are high end developers in the chain when it comes to developing this game so if they're starting to shift their focus to other projects at TT Games especially the developers who were so hands on with Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Saga and so involved in it I mean, how? what else do you believe other than that this game is either finished or it will be finished very soon? So I'm starting to believe that they actually mean it this time that spring 2022 is starting to roll around and that's going to be the time that they actually release this game. When you consider the leaked release date of April 5th, potential leaked release date of April 5th, and then the fact that we might get something at the Game Awards next week, I don't know. Things are starting to fall into place and... These tweets and these bio changes today just kind of add to that smoke that Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga might actually be finished. We might actually be on track this time. Yeah, and I mean, what we're hearing from the inside is really promising. I mean, Tim Spencer, what he's saying, like, the fact that he is tearing up from happiness. This is Tim Spencer. This guy worked on Battlefront 3. He's seen some shit in his day, and yet he is happy tearing up because of this game. Also, we've now seen another distinction with that Tauntaun tweet was it looked to be in-game footage of a Tauntaun, guys. This was a working model of the game, something that they kind of barely even got together for uh, any of the trailers at this point. So there just seems to be an aura surrounding this whole project right now from the developers, from the marketing, that there is something to look forward to in the near future. Now, we do have, you know, the local jackass here and there saying, oh, well, this means that the game is canceled. The game is not canceled. They wouldn't be marketing this game at this stage if the game is canceled. That one is just well and done in the rearview mirror. We just, that's, that was never seriously going to happen. This game looks like it's coming soon. And for those of you who are saying, you know, Game Awards, uh, I'm not going to put all my eggs in that basket, but... I will be willing to say that we should expect something sometime soon. We can't say when, and people who, you know, think that they could tell you the exact date that we're going to see something, uh, they don't really know what they're talking about, because nobody does, we don't know, but it looks promising, right? 
Yeah, I the last thing I want to say is is that the current environment, the current vibe and kind of overall feel in the community is different than anything we felt at any point up to this point. There is just a certain I don't know, there's like it it feels like the winds have changed, you know, with the way mm-hmm. that developers are tweeting and the bio changes and now the fact that apparently they remembered their login to their Twitter account and are actually using it again. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. This something feels different. I think this is legit this time. I think this game is actually done or close to being done. I think we are actually finally on track this time. I would be shocked. Honestly, I'd be shocked at this point if this game gets delayed again. I really think we're in the end game now. I think this is it. I think we're finally getting there. Well, with that said, guys, let us know what you guys think. As always, you're welcome to share your opinions, your thoughts. We really do care to hear about what you all have to say about this game. Again, we are a community. Everybody's opinion matters, except for those people that think that this game was canceled. Your opinion does not matter. Um, but everybody else who you know has a brain, uh, their opinion matters. Comment down below what you guys think. Also comment down below a Q&A question for a chance to win a Lego set signed by Nick and myself. This Lego set also having to do uh, relatively with Tauntauns, right? That's kind of cool and relevant with this last tweet coming out of TT Games. So win yourself a Lego set. Get yourself a subscription to Lunar Squadron. It's free and it is boss certified. Thank you all for joining us in today's discussion. And as always, we will see you all next time.